Hey, man, what it is? This is Dame, and I am your host, and this is By Any Means. There go to PayPal, at Dame By Any Means. There go to Cash App, dollar sign Dame By Any Means. It's much, much, much appreciated. Everybody hit that like and subscribe button. That is truly, truly appreciated because we over here cooking, giving up heat. And I just want to say I, I appreciate y'all for that. And y'all know what else I'm about to say. I don't care if you send $3, $30, $300. It is much appreciated. Um, Shakur Stevenson versus Raymond Marital. Let's talk, y'all. I am so excited for this fight. This is a great fight. And I know I, I cook Bob Arum all the time. But guess what? He had no other choice. So he don't get that much credit from me. He had no other choice but to do what he's doing and put on this fight because Shakur Stevenson was very uneasy. And this was the only thing that to, to, he had to put a Band-Aid on the wound. And I'm glad that he did, though. See, I can give credit to people. I am glad that Bob decided to make this fight because this, this right here, this going to be one of the best fights of this year. I promise you that. This will be one of the best fights of this year. And Shakur Stevenson, you better not come to play, my guy. This is going to be one of your toughest tests to me. This is your toughest test so far. Because I think Raymond Maritala is better than De La Santos. I think he's better than Jamel Herring. I think he's better than all of those other guys that you have faced. I think uh, Raymond Maritala just has a little bit more talent than all of them. He fights similar to De La Santos, y'all. But I think he... Um, He's just a little bit more active. I think he's a little more, a bit more focused in the ring. He cuts off the ring way better than um, De La Santos did. I think he's more relentless than De La Santos is. He, I think they about equal in power. I would say. I think they're about equal in power. De La Santos might be a little stronger, but um, Raymond Maritala is just. The, I mean, he's just. He's just a different breed of 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 boxer man and like i said i just think that this is this is tough competition when people sit up there and talk about tough competition this is what i'm talking about what javante davis is doing with um frank martin that is tough competition i like this devin haney and ram ryan garcia fight much much more then other people like it, but that's just me. But people call me a hater when I wanted a few people that actually like this fight. I'm excited for that fight too because um, I think all three of them are starting the year off with great fights for all of them at their respectful position that they are right now. I would have loved to have seen Shakur Stevenson um, versus Vasil Lomachenko. I would have loved to have seen that, that Navarrete fight, because that would have been for a belt. I would have loved to have seen that for that reason. But um, if you want to ask me what fight do I like for Shakur Stevenson the most, this by far is the fight that I like for him the most. A fight that I'm most intrigued by, him versus Raymond Maritala. Besides Devin Haney and Javante Davis, or even a Frank Martin, this is the fight that I really, really wanted to see him fight. And I'm glad that I'm getting what I wanted this year because the people who heard me talk, y'all heard me say that this is one of the guys that I wanted Shakur Stevenson to fight. I just think that highly of Raymond Maritala. He's the Punisher, man. I nicknamed him the Punisher. He is the Punisher because that's exactly what he's coming to do. He is not coming to play with Shakur Stevenson. So Shakur, I hope your hand is, is feel better and everything. The whole nine because, um, if you if you have even a little bit of the same performance that you had against Dela Santos, you're not gonna win on these scorecards. Um, because Marema Maritala is a, is a highly touted prospect himself, and I think that he's a little bit more. He's gonna put a lot more pressure on Del on Shakur that Dela Santos wasn't able. I thought Dela Santos' footwork was better than that, and Dela Santos has great footwork. He had not even gonna say great. He has pretty good footwork. But his ring generalship is not the best, and he needs to get a lot better at that because he could not, he could not find a way to cut that ring off on Shakur Stevenson. He could not find a way to cut that ring off, and that's one of the major things that you have to do. Raymond Raymond Maritala is a lot better at that 
than De Los Santos is. And I think that's going to be the deciding factor, that he's able to cut the ring off, that he has similar power, and that I think that he's more active than um uh, Raymond uh than Edwin De Los Santos. That's just my opinion. I just think he has more talent. I think he has more tools in the toolbox. And we're going to see. I just really think that we are in for a goodie, y'all. I hope that y'all are excited, as excited as I am. I'm happy for Shakur Stevenson that I think this is going to be a fight that um he's going to get a lot of credit for, as he should, because Shakur Stevenson is not out here really, in my opinion. Shakur Stevenson is not out here ducking nobody. Um, I understand the um the concerning factors of why he's not getting fights that he actually wants, but I also understand at the same time that um it's not all the way up to him because he has handlers, and when you have handlers and you're not a Javante Davis or Canelo Alvarez you, or Terrence Crawford or Earl Spence, it's hard to sit up there and pick and choose what you're doing. Shakur Stevenson should be in that position, but I don't think I think he surrounded himself by the wrong people. That is to be much harder for him to get in that position without doing it with Bob Bob Arum. It's, it's, it's possible if he get um, undisputed, eventually he's going to have to see Gervonta Tank Davis and they both stay at that weight division. So it's a chance he'll still get the major fight. Eventually he's going to have to see Lomachenko if they stand at that weight division. So eventually he will get them fights. I just hate when they put boxers off. That Shakur, I think Shakur Stevenson right now is probably the best he's going to be in this next year or two. So if those fights don't happen in this next year or two, I think that um, – we're getting um it'd be unjustified and i also feel as though we'll be getting cheated as as boxing fans if we don't get a 26 year old 27 28 year old shakur stevenson fighting those guys because lomachenko is going to be further longer in the tooth next year and the year after that and the year after that and i hate to say this so is gervonta davis that's why i think that roy jones was completely right that tank need to fight Shakur and Devin now because Tank ain't getting no younger. He's already at a disadvantage age-wise. But as far as just the rumble, man, I mean Shakur Stevenson, you gotta bring, you gotta bring your hard hat. And Raymond Maritala, you can't, you can't stand in front of Shakur Stevenson, sir. You can't do what you normally do. Shakur Stevenson is not normal. Shakur Stevenson is unlike you have never faced nobody like him. Even if they had similar styles, they was not Shakur Stevenson. I can guarantee you that, sir. His defense is going to be way better than you think it's going to be. Because what I don't even know if y'all ever sparred before, but even if you did, I understand that Shakur, the focus he will have on you in a sparring match versus the focus he will have on you in a boxing match, is two completely different things. Y'all want to know what the difference is? Because in sparring, you'll deviate from the game plan. You'll work on other things and see what you can get away with. Shakur Stevenson has shown us, we have seen him, that he is not going to deviate from that game plan. He's going to stick to do, he's going to do what he does best and make you have to switch up to what he does. And then he may make an adjustment to counter whatever it is that you're trying to bring his way. But Shakur Stevenson already knows that he's probably physical attributes as far as um speed, footwork, you know, IQ. Raymond Maritala is not on his level. And Shakur Stevenson is not the most mobile fighter. Like that's another misnotion about Shakur. Shakur Will stay in there with you. That's why I was surprised what he did against De Los Santos, but he said that his hand hurt and blah, 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 whatever. I already cooked on that and how I feel about that. But at the same time, I don't think it's too many better fights you could set up for Shakur Stevenson or for boxing in the hole than Raymond Maritala versus Shakur Stevenson. Um, it's, it, it's the punisher against the defender. And it just is what it is. And I just think that when you put two world-class fighters up against, against each other, this is what we ask. Now 24, 2024 is getting rolling. If that tank card is anything like people have been saying it's going to be, 2024, especially the back half of it, is going to probably be amazing. And we might see a lot of things we weren't expecting to see, or we, we will see a lot of things that we want to see. So I'm just very happy that Shakur Stevenson is going to get back on that stage against a fighter that he can really prove everything. That last fight was just last fight. It was just a bad night. And I would love for him to go out there and prove that and show that because I just think, like I said, man, so, um, I think Shakur, Devin, um, um, Gervonta Davis, 
I think those fighters are special fighters. As Xander Zayas, um, Raymond Maritala, I think certain fighters, I would say Lomachenko, especially now Lomachenko's a special fighter. He's a special fighter. I just think um the reason why I was hesitant to say Lomachenko, because I think Jermaine Ortiz beat him. And I'm not sure if Jermaine Ortiz is a special fighter. But matter of fact, I gotta I gotta keep I gotta be consistent, y'all. And that's why y'all rock with me. Jermaine Ortiz is a special fighter too, because I believe in my heart wholeheartedly that he beat Tiafima Lopez and Vasil Lomachenko. So by definition, I really I, from me watching, I think it takes a special fighter to beat Jermaine Ortiz. So that's what will make him special just by default. You can't be anything under A plus if it takes somebody A plus to surpass you. If it takes somebody that's special to surpass you, how can't you can't be very good? Because does that mean somebody very good equal to your level? If they very good too, they have a great chance of being you. No. No, they don't. Edwin De Los Santos is very good. He has no chance of beating um Devin Haney. Edwin Devin Santos is very good. He, I, in my opinion, he has no chance of beating a Gervonta Davis. None. So that's what I mean. It's like you have to be a special fighter to beat a special fighter. There is no in between. Yeah, every time, every now and then, you will get your Riddick bowls and stuff. But that's why y'all hear me say that Mike. I feel as though Mike Tyson is one of the most overrated. That's just my opinion. But I love Mike Tyson. I'm a fan of Mike Tyson. He was a big part of my childhood, and it doesn't matter how many times he lost, I still would be a fan of him. But I gotta be do my job and be honest about the man career after it's over. I got to be honest about what I saw, especially, especially me growing up in the nineties and the two thousands and everything like that. So y'all know what this is, man. Dean by any means shout out to Shakur Stevenson, big, big shout out to um, Raymond Maritala. I'm a huge fan of Raymond Maritala, huge fan of Shakur Stevenson, man. And I just want to say thank you, Bob, for, making some fight you know and i'm saying you know i'm just glad that you because you was really backed into a corner with this one because we kind of all predicted this would happen if he didn't he was very highly upset sir he was highly upset so <laughs> but yeah i'll get at y'all man y'all take care have a good day